Swarm is one of Jody's classic mods of Terraria. It was made by Daverman Sam in early 2013 when Timo Dollar didn't even exist. Today, on New Year's Eve, it was announced that the mod was finally ported to the 1.4 Timo Dollar version. On top of that, it seems that the Torum developers have been working closely with the Calamity team. The announcement was posted at the same time as a Calamity patch that fixes compatibility issues with Torium was. So today in this short video we'll take a look at what's new, what was removed and what will be added next. But before we do however, quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Pondgrind. Pondgrind is a website where you can earn different gift cards, PayPal balance and much more by just completing tasks and surveys. I'm one of the lead developers and it's been an amazing journey building it from the ground. The link will be in the description and enjoy the video. So, to begin with, there's a new weapon, several new tools, new minecarts, many new pets, a new mage robe, and a few accessories. One of which I found pretty interesting and original, the Seed of Hope, a talisman which gives you movement speed and life regeneration whenever you plant trees with acorns. There are two new food items, the takoyaki and garlic bread, new boss relics, a few new critters, base series support, journey mode support and all kinds of ported content to 1.4. Now, even though this seems like a pretty small update, keep in mind that this is just the first part of the 1.4 update. It mostly contains bug fixes, changes, nerfs and buffs and things like that. It is expected with a second part with a brand new boss, new class reworks and much more new content to be released somewhere in 2023. The recent progress with Terraria modding has been pretty fascinating. I find it really interesting how some people can turn a 2D block game into something much more. A great example of that is the Everglow mod that completely changes Terraria's animation standards. It features a brand new dimension and some of the most interesting bosses I've ever seen in this game. Gitgood has an awesome video covering this which you can check out at the top right corner of the video. So yeah, I guess that's it for today, thanks for watching and happy new year!